Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how GitHub README tags are created. So these tags right here. And if you're in a hurry and want a short version of it, the service name that you're looking for is shields.io. And this is its website. If you don't need a demo, you could head over to this site. Link is in the description. And I appreciate your viewership so far. For the rest of us though, let's see how we can set it up. So just as a brief intro, what shields.io does, simply put, is that it serves documentation badges for different services. And the most popular, in my opinion, that it's used for is the GitHub's readme files for open source projects. And what it provides by definition is quality metadata badges for open source projects. So these serve as informational badges or tags intended to track the state of your projects, your repositories, as well as for promotional purposes. The services that it supports includes GitHub, Travis CI, Jenkins, WordPress, and a lot more. And the different kinds of badges that it provides is listed right here. So let's look at an example now. All we need for a badge to show up on the project page is a line of specially formatted text in the readme file. To understand this line, you need to know a little bit about markdown formatting. Now, since the readme file is basically just a markdown or a .md file, any text that we specify inside the readme file along with a special sort of formatting can effectively serve as a basic documentation for your um, for your repository. This line here is what specifies adding a meta tag to our readme file, which would eventually show up on our GitHub repo, which looks something like this. And if you have a package published, it might also show up on the NPM page like this. And if you don't know this yet, it is good to know what a markdown is and to know its basic formatting. So for an incredible brief version though, what it is, is it is an easy to use syntax for styling all forms of text across the GitHub platform. So basically what you can do with a markdown file is format different headings. You can emphasize text. You can, you can add bullet points. You could add images which is what we need to do to add meta tags. You could add links, block codes, and so on and so forth. I have this really simple library that I'm trying to build and I want to make it open source and it kind of looks professional if I could go ahead and add these meta tags here. So let's try to add one more. Now, since I want to add a tag and that tag is going to be kind of an image, it can be an SVG, a PNG, or it even supports JSON. So the format is square brackets and exclamation mark. This here is the alt text of the image. In parentheses, you add in the image URL. That URL is where the image is loaded from. And finally, if you want it to point to a particular URL, that goes here. And that's it. Let's see what else we can add. These are our options. And we can also format the tags. We can add colors. Uh, it can be static, dynamic. You can set up your own endpoints. Um, you can do different kinds of stylings with different logos. And there are a bunch of other parameters that I'll let you explore. But for now, let's go back and see what else we can add. Maybe size. I already have the GitHub repo size, this one. So I'll try to add something else. Let's say, yeah, let's do GitHub code size in bytes. So let's select this one. It will ask to add your user ID and your repo details. So mine is pretty heavy and the repo is users. It will just look it up and then create the badge for you. And basically what you can do is copy the URL, go back, paste it here. And if you want to point this to your own GitHub repo, that's what I usually do. I'll just add that URL in these parentheses. And what this is, is it is my GitHub repo size in bytes, was it? I believe, yeah. All right, let's see if this works. 
now for this to reflect um, I'm gonna have to push the changes so let me commit it let me change I'll push the latest changes in and once that's done I'll go back to my repo four hours ago refresh the page and there you go this new tag has been added All right hopefully that helps and there were a bunch of other things that I did along the video which includes git commands npm packages so if you want to know how an npm package is published uh, if you want a quick little tutorial about basic git commands the ones that you might use for your personal projects or at your workplace let me know in the comments and I can probably make another video and thanks for sticking around guys I'll see you in the next one thanks